morning, I've already primed my eyes with my BYS Shimmer Shine Pencil in the shade 01 Silver. And this is just going to provide a really, really nice base for my eyeshadows, give them something to stick to, and also make them pop a little bit because of the colour. Uh, but you can use whatever eyeshadow primer you have. This is just what I happen to have on hand. Okay, so the first step is I'm going to take my Maybelline um, Sapphire Diamonds eyeshadow palette. This is from the new Hyper Diamonds collection and it's gorgeous. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, first if I can get it open, <laughs> I'm going to take the lightest blue over here. I'm going to take it on my Nana Care eyeshadow brush. I'm going to load up my brush with this colour. Tap off any excess and this is going to go on the inner half of my lid. And you also want to make sure to blend this up into the crease a little bit. And if you're wondering why I'm looking up here, I've got a little mirror to help me. And once we've got that shadow applied, I'm going to flip my brush over, gather up a little bit of this darker, more royal blue colour, which is so pretty. I'm going to tap load my brush up with that, tap with any excess, and this is going to go on the outer half of the lid. And then you also want to make sure to blend this colour with the lighter blue colour. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend it with one side, then flip my brush over, because it'll still have some of that other blue on it, and this will just help to blend the two colours together and there won't be a harsh stopping point because we don't want that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Cosmetica Rounded Blending Brush. This is kind of like a MAC 224 and it is really, really soft, really fluffy, great for blending. I'm just going to blend these two colours out a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other Hyper Diamonds palette. This is in Charcoal Diamonds. And I'm going to take, if I can find it, my little Eco Tools crease brush. This is just from a little travel kit that I got. I'm going to take the lightest of the silver. I'm going to load up my brush with that. Tap off any excess. And this is going to go straight into the crease. And we're going to focus it on the outer crease. I'm just going to use circular motions as well as windshield wipers to blend this out. You can apply as much or as little of this colour that you like, but I want it to be a bit more dramatic, so I'm going to apply a fair bit of it. Now, I'm going to take my Cosmetica Little Rounded um, Crease Brush. This is actually a blending brush, but I find it's great for my outer corner. I'm going to take the outer quarter colour, which is this dark black with a lot of silver sparkling, and it's gorgeous. I'm going to apply this to my outer corner, my outer crease, and then flick it down to create the outer V. And then you want to blend this out, make it really, really smoky and sultry. Again, you can apply as much or a little of this colour as you like, but like I said, I'm going for the sultry look, so... I'm going to apply a fair bit of it. Now that the crease is done, I'm going to take my big fluffy Eco Tools brush. I'm going to take the highlight colour in my Sapphire Diamonds palette because I think this one's a little bit more pigmented than the one in the um, charcoal palette. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pat this under my brow bone as a highlight and blend it down. And then I'm also going to take this down into my outer corner. Okay, now that we're done with the eyeshadows, we're going to move on to eyeliner. And I'm actually going to, not going to do this part on camera because I'm going to try and save time. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner to my top lash line with my little eyeliner brush from Manicare. This is really, really good, my angled one. And then I'm going to wing it out a little bit as well, just like what I did on this side. And then... I'm going to take my black 
Colour Co eyeliner that I actually got in a train case tip for my birthday. And then this is going to go on my waterline as well. So I'm going to do these off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put my eyeliner on and as you can see I've done the little wing and I've also put it on my waterline. So now that I'm done with the eyeliner, I'm going to move on to mascara. And I'm using Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express. This is my favourite mascara at the moment. So I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. I was going to do false eyelashes with this look, but I thought since my eyelashes were already long, dark, and thick enough as it was, I didn't need them. But you can apply them if you would like. Okay, so now that I've got my eyes done, I'm going to move on to an optional step. As you can see from this side of my face, I've just put a little bit of glitter on the side of my face, and this is going to act as our fairy dust. And all I did to apply this was I put some of my Astralis primer on my face to just give the glitter something to stick to, and then I just dabbed my finger and a little glitter part at the bottom of my Sapphire Diamonds palette, and then I just applied it to my temples and the top of my cheekbones. And now what I'm going to do, this is going to be really, really fun. I'm going to take these Glam Eyes Crystal Face Jewels and I'm going to apply them just over the top of the glitter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of the jewels with a pair of tweezers and then apply them straight to my face. I'm going to use a few different sizes to just give it a bit of a better look. Okay, so now I have all the jewels applied to my face, and I just think this helps give a really nice sparkle and shine. It gives it a more kind of fairy-esque um, kind of effect, and I really, really like it. I'm kind of like a magpie. I'm attracted to all the things sparkly. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to cheeks and lips, and I'm going to keep these very, very simple because I want the focus to be on my eyes. So... What I'm going to do for cheeks, I'm not going to do any bronzer at all because snow fairies, they are pale, just like me, and I kind of want them to just have a bit of a natural glow to their cheeks. So I'm just going to use this Color Co Peachy Pink blush that I got in the same gift set that I mentioned before. And that's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty, and it's got a light amount of gold shimmer in it, which is gorgeous. I'm, I'm going to light up my brush with this tap off any excess and then I'm going to smile and apply this to the apples of my cheeks. And then work it back as well. With the highlight, I'm just going to use that same shimmer stick that I used to prime my eyelids with. I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones and then blend it back. This is just going to give a really, really nice sparkle and a bit of a healthy glow. Okay, now I'm going to move on to lips. And prior to filming, I've already applied Maybelline Baby Lips. This is the berry one. This is my absolute favorite. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use my Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick. This is from the Pearls line in 720 Pearly Pink. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply this to the middle of my bottom lip and then work it back. And then do the same thing to my top lips. For lip gloss, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Gloss in, let me see, Pink Perfection. I'm just going to apply this to the middle of my, my bottom and my top lips just to make my lips look a bit fuller. That's the finished look. I really hope you enjoy it. Let me just give you one more quick look. Okay, um, thank you for taking the time to watch my entry, and um, I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Bye!